Hey there, families all over the world. Here are some things that autism parents would like you to know as we gather together this Christmas. Uh, let me start with what's obvious to us, but may not be so obvious to you. My kid's not a bad kid, and I'm not a bad parent. I understand why many people may not believe it, though. You see, many traits of autism create characteristics that society deems inappropriate. There's a gap between how you view the world and how someone on the spectrum views it. Let me show you that gap. An autistic child's understanding of the world is mostly through knowledge and facts, not feelings, opinions, and interactions. Unlike you or me, when they sit in a room and observe what is happening, they don't understand the social cues, the implied directions, and they don't read between the lines. Our kiddos are the center of their own world. Now, this isn't by choice. It's how their brain works and is simply part of what autism is. I gotta be me. They can't take in what is happening around them that involves the rest of the world, only what directly impacts them. Now, this is a behavioral trait referred to as egocentrism, and it's a very real part of autism. In a neurotypical person, this would be considered selfishness. But by definition, selfishness is a disregard for others with intent. With egocentrism, there is no intent. So when you're sitting at the dinner table and they say something like, Grandma's pudding sucks! They aren't being rude, at least not as you see it. They're being honest. Brutally honest to be sure, but honest nonetheless. Politeness is not a fact. It's just a rule of society. A figurative thought. Isn't it also rude to lie? Do these pants make my butt look big? Society's rules oftentimes contradict one another. Facts rarely do. Sure, I could correct my child every time he does something like that. But I would be doing it for your benefit, not his, because I live with autism. I study it. I talk to the doctors about it. I learn all I can to help make him a productive member of society, so I've learned what his limitations are. Now, you may be asking yourself if that means I've given up on teaching him manners. No, it doesn't. It means that I understand in this particular setting, Christmas dinner, his mind will already be on overload, processing a thousand things you won't even think about. And adding one more thing could literally push him beyond what he can handle. You won't notice every smell in the room and have to process each one because they're different than things you normally smell. You won't notice and analyze every single sound. Your brain doesn't light up like a Christmas tree every time you look at one. And most importantly, you won't have to try and think about every action you take and every word you say and try to make sure that you're doing the right things when you're literally not capable of even understanding some of those things. Yes, I teach him how to be polite, and we work on manners all the time. It kills me when people see his shortcomings rather than his achievements. You say thank you, and you don't have to think about it. Heck, you don't even mean it half the time. He has to think about it every time, when in all honesty, he's no more thankful for you opening a door for him than you're thankful towards your boss for your paycheck each week. The rest of the world expects him to be thankful for things that he's not truly thankful for. And then I'm looked at as a bad parent when he fails to do so. But you don't take into account his factual thinking. You hold a door open for him. Great! He didn't care that you did it. He could have done it for himself just as easily. Mom washed his laundry. He doesn't really care if his clothes are clean. It's not impolite or rude. It's fact. And that is how he processes the world. Remember the pudding? It did suck. His mom taught him not to lie. Now prepare yourself, because this is really going to blow your mind. A child with autism may process things differently than you, but as a person, they are just like you and me. He said what? I know, right? Just like you or me, they have likes and dislikes. They have wants, dreams, and desires. Just like you or me, there are things that make them happy or sad, pleased, mad, and every other feeling we experience. You look at them as different because they process differently than you, but they're not different. They're people just like us. So this Christmas, when he plays Jingle Bells on YouTube that's played in all belches and farts, take your own advice of being aware of other people's feelings and find the joy in his laughter instead of being offended. He's trying to share something with you. If he says to you, thank you for the gift, even though I didn't really like it, be proud of him for remembering to say thank you. Mom told me to never lie. You have no idea how hard we both worked for him to do that without being prompted. And when Grandma tells him to eat all he wants because she made plenty of food, remember his literal thinking and don't get mad at him for taking the whole pie and digging into it. It's not his fault. And it's better than the pudding. I hope by now you realize that he isn't bad, mean, or rude, and that I'm not a bad parent. Don't let his autism blind you to the loving, caring, giving, wonderful soul that he truly is. The best gift you could give any of us is to accept him for who he is. Share this with others if you agree, and have a Merry Christmas.